What would you do if World War III broke out tomorrow? It's a daunting question, isn't it? In today's unpredictable world, preparedness is no longer an option, but rather a necessity. Whether it's geopolitical tensions, economic uncertainties, or environmental challenges, we're living in times where the unexpected is the new normal. Being prepared for potential crises, such as a world war, can make a significant difference in our survival and well-being. After all, it's better to be prepared and not need it than to need it and not be prepared. First things first, the essentials, food and water. So, let's delve into the importance of a long-term food supply and clean water. In a world where convenience stores and tap water are a given, it's easy to overlook the significance of these basic resources. But in times of crisis they become as valuable as gold. Imagine being in a situation where grocery shelves are empty and clean water is scarce. Without a stockpile of food and water, survival becomes a precarious balancing act. Now we're not talking about hoarding perishables that will spoil in a week or two, we're referring to foods that have a lengthy shelf life, yet still pack a nutritional punch. Canned goods, for instance, are a staple in any long-term food supply. They're available in a wide range of options, from fruits and vegetables to meats and soups. They can last for years, and they're ready to eat straight out of the can. Next, we have dried foods. These include items like pasta, rice, beans, and lentils. When stored properly, these foods can remain edible for quite a long time, and they're versatile enough to fit into a variety of meals. And then there's Meals Ready to Eat, or MREs. Originally designed for military use, these prepackaged meals are compact, long-lasting, and require no cooking. They're a valuable addition to any emergency food stash. But food is only half the battle. Clean water is equally vital. In the event of a crisis, clean water sources may become contaminated or inaccessible. Thus, having a water purification system or iodine tablets can be a lifesaver. These tools can make questionable water safe to drink, providing a vital resource when it's needed most. In sum, a well-stocked pantry and a reliable water purification system are crucial for survival in dire times. They ensure that even when the world outside is in chaos, you have the means to sustain yourself and your loved ones. Remember, in dire times these basic necessities can mean the difference between life and death. Next on the list is medical supplies. Now this is a critical area that many tend to overlook. Medical supplies are not just about band-aids for cuts and scrapes. They encompass a much broader range of necessities. In a world where professional medical help may not be immediately accessible, a comprehensive first aid kit becomes your first line of defense. It's your mini-hospital, your immediate response to any medical emergencies that might arise. This kit should include bandages of course but also antiseptics for cleaning wounds, tweezers for removing splinters or debris, and a good pair of medical scissors. You'd also want to have a thermometer, a blood pressure cuff, and even a stethoscope if you can get your hands on one. But it's not just about dealing with immediate injuries. Common medications both over-the-counter and prescription should be part of your medical supplies. Pain relievers, antihistamines, anti-diarrheal medications and rehydration salts are just a few examples. These can help manage minor illnesses and discomforts that could otherwise become major problems. Let's not forget about long-term medical needs. If you or someone in your group has a chronic condition, make sure you have an ample supply of the necessary medication. This could be insulin for diabetics, asthma inhalers, heart medications, or any other prescription drugs. It's also wise to have a backup plan in case these supplies run out. In addition to all these, consider adding vitamins and nutritional supplements to your stockpile. They can help fill in any nutritional gaps, especially when your diet may not provide all the nutrients you need. Lastly, knowledge is as important as the supplies themselves. Learn how to use these tools and medications effectively. Understand basic first aid procedures, how to sterilize equipment, how to dress a wound, how to perform CPR. The more you know, the better prepared you'll be. Remember, in a crisis situation, your medical supplies could mean the difference between life and death. They are as important as food and water. Health is wealth even more so in a survival situation. Moving on, let's talk about survival gear. The right tools in your survival kit can mean the difference between life and death in a crisis situation. Let's dive into some essential items you should consider. First up, we've got multi-tools. These compact devices are like a Swiss army knife on steroids. Imagine having a pair of pliers, a screwdriver, a can opener, and a knife, all neatly folded into one handy tool. It's a jack of all trades that can come in handy in countless survival scenarios from building a shelter to preparing food. Next, let's talk about fire starters. 
Fire is a fundamental survival element. It provides warmth, cooks food, purifies water, and signals for help. Therefore, having a reliable way to start a fire, such as a lighter or a magnesium fire starter, is crucial. Flashlights and batteries are another must-have. When the sun goes down or you're navigating dark spaces, a reliable source of light is indispensable and don't forget to stock up on batteries. Without power, your flashlight is just a fancy paperweight. Now let's discuss tents. In a survival situation, shelter is just as important as food and water. A good quality tent can protect you from the elements, keep you warm, and offer a sense of security. Look for a tent that's lightweight, durable, and easy to set up. It's important to remember that survival isn't just about getting through the night. It's about enduring until help arrives, or until you can reach safety. That's why having the right gear is so important. Each item in your survival kit should serve a purpose and make your situation a little more bearable. In the end, the specific items you choose will depend on your situation and environment, but regardless of where you are or what you're facing, having a well-stocked survival kit is a crucial part of any survival strategy. Remember, preparation is key. Having the right gear can make survival not only possible but also a bit more comfortable. In a world without internet or cell service, how would you communicate? This is the question you should ask yourself when preparing for a potential emergency. The answer lies in the old school, yet ever-reliable communication devices. Let's start with something as fundamental as a battery-powered or hand-crank radio. This device is your lifeline to the outside world. It provides important news updates and broadcasts from authorities that can guide your actions. It's like a friend in the dark, always ready to keep you informed about what's happening around you. Now, imagine a situation where you need to send out a signal, but you're out of sight or your voice can't carry far enough. That's where a whistle comes into play. A whistle can be heard over large distances and is a universally recognized signal for help. It's small, light, and could potentially save your life. But what about finding your way in unfamiliar territory? Here's where a compass becomes invaluable. It doesn't rely on batteries or satellite signals. With a good map and a compass, you can navigate almost anywhere. It's a tool that's been used for centuries and remains relevant even today. So whether it's tuning into the latest news, signaling for help, or finding your way, these communication devices are essential. They may seem simple, but in a crisis, they could be the difference between staying isolated and being connected. Stay connected, stay informed, and stay on course. Last but not least, personal documents and cash. In the event of a dire situation such as World War III, having your personal documents in order can be just as important as having food, water, and other survival gear. You might be asking yourself, why would I need my passport or birth certificate in such a scenario? Well, these documents can be crucial in establishing your identity, nationality, and rights. They could be necessary for travel, accessing services, or even claiming property. Similarly, having cash on hand is also essential. In times of crisis, digital and card transactions could become unreliable or even impossible. Cash, on the other hand, is a universal medium of exchange and can be used for immediate transactions, no matter the circumstances. It can help you secure resources, services, or even transportation when you need it most. In a world in chaos, these items can help you establish your identity and make necessary transactions. Let's quickly recap what we've discussed today. We've navigated the essentials you'd need to stock up on in the event of World War III. First off, we highlighted the importance of food and water. Non-perishable items and clean stored water are your lifelines. Next, we delved into medical supplies, from bandages to antibiotics, these are vital in case of injuries or sickness. We also explored the necessity of survival gear. This includes tools like multi-purpose knives, flashlights, and fire starters that could make all the difference in a survival situation. Furthermore, we talked about the importance of communication devices, radios, satellite phones, these can be your link to the outside world. And lastly, we emphasized personal documents and cash. These items hold value and can provide you with options in dire circumstances. Preparation is key. Equip yourself today for a safer tomorrow. Until next time, stay prepared and stay safe.